Attach all. Did you say attach all? Yes. Okay. Here, this part. And then this part, the rotation there. Did you say, hand down? So you can see here, there is one servo and then another one on the other side. Both are synchronized. They, uh, they work on the same um, servo board and um, only the, the worms are reversed to actually uh, play the opposite direction. The uh, servo board and the power input into the motor is the same. What I mean is the plus on one servo is the same on the plus on the other servo. Here you can see I'm placing the place where there is going to be the worm and this is the cover that uh, holds it and um, that's the back part that holds the whole rotation. Here I used BB guns balls, plastic one, six millimeter diameter. They can be replaced with uh, steel balls. But on the back, I will show you that right now. Here, it's a bit of a mess. Here you've got um, two servos. Over here and these they control the whole rotation of uh, the hips and uh, these servos they are also hooked up together so they are synchronized using only one servo power one servo board But the thing is, um, the motor inside are reversed. One turns that one way and the other one turns the other way. <clears throat> I need um, to have a, a servo board that can uh, send um, a plus and minus on one motor and a plus and minus on the reverse mo motor. And I found only one servo board at the moment that does this. Here uh, you can see I'm uh, using again BB guns balls to make a ball bearing of 150 millimeter diameter, which is uh, quite big, and <clears throat> that's the way it holds the whole um, torso, and the rotation acts pretty well. Later, there is also another part that comes over here, Did so we get uh, two rotation. Then there's another one coming over here. But it's not um, it's not built yet, so I will do that later. Did you say open hand? No, I didn't say that. Sorry. <laughs>